So my next question is, uh, what's the best job search strategy for data analyst position? Uh, these days, there is a lot of competition in the market, right, for job positions. Uh, but at the same time, I understand that there are a lot of opportunities too, right? So what, according to you, is the best job search strategy for both the entry level and other positions in the data science industry? I will say actually go from uh, joining. There's a lot of um, meetups, for example, conferences, events out there. Go attend those places. Um, that's when you get to know people. Knowing people right now is um, highly, I think, more import, more important. Yeah, I'll say that more important than just send your your send out your resume like a hundred resume a day. I would really strongly recommend that you build your network, and this building network is actually uh, in, for an intro level or someone who's just graduated from college. It might sound scary, sound hard, like something that the school um, maybe didn't teach as much, but it's actually fine because everyone is looking for network too. So um, going to all those conferences, events, and get to know people, and then reach out to them on LinkedIn, look for mentorship, look for guidance. And then after that, you know, say that, hey, this is my resume. Uh, if you, if there's any opportunities in your company, would you keep me in consideration? That's actually a very great way to get you some solid in interview, especially if you already connected. If especially if you connected a um, created a relationship with that person, that person will help you a lot from the intern inside. Yeah. So so when nothing is working. Do networking. Yes, I strongly recommend re networking rather than send email, uh, send resume everywhere. Yep, sure. Thank you so much. And Jessica, what are the three tips to make your resume stand out for data analyst position? Um, first of all, on the first section, be very clear uh, what you're looking for. This is the places that I think is the very important part. And then, um, I have seen some, I have seen a few um, resumes of my, um, my, my schoolmates who's graduating as a data scientist. I feel like right now, a lot of pe people already have uh, a, some great project. So if you don't have any great projects to put on your resume, definitely go to Kaggle, They'll do some Kaggle conversations and uh, do some, just get some freelance uh, projects online, which is a lot of places they offer those. So um, get your technical part very, very strong on your resume. And um, so I've already talked the first part, the uh, be specific about what you want. So that's the first tip. And then be very strong about the technical project experiences. Even if you don't have any work experiences, the project that you have done at um, at school is also very important. And thirdly, I would say, um, get some other activities on the resumes as well, because um, people, that, 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 because that kind of soft, soft uh, ability will take you a long way. And um, while I was talking about the technical part, I want to stress that, make sure you put a lot of numbers on it. Don't just uh, describe what you have done, how awesome it is, but actually put the solid number what kind of data did you, that, that's a description. What kind of data did you work on? How big is the size of data did you work on? And um, you know, those kind of, those kind of numbers, quantitative numbers is really gives the people some idea of um, what you did and it's really going to help you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And I think this advice, uh... Not, is not only applicable for data uh, analyst position, but for every other uh, uh, like candidate. Uh, for example, if I talk about consulting, it's always good to see numbers on your resume, things in the quantifiable format, rather than just describing them at the very high level. So I totally agree with you. I got the same advice when I was in school a couple of years back. So thank you so much for that. Okay, so my next question is, What's the interview format of data analyst position? I mean, how many 
rounds are there uh, in a particular interview? Are those all technical or the behavioral? It's actually both com combined. I haven't had in any interview recently. I heard they changed a lot. But from what I heard, uh, based on what I heard from the people around me who is taking interviews recently, um, it's a combination of both technical and behavioral. For technical, they are going to give you um, some problems, depends on the company. Some, some of them will have you take home and then uh, a bigger problem will have you take home, solve it, and then send it back to them. Some people, they will have you um, uh, have a, a live interview where they are monitoring your screen and give you a problem, you solve it while they are watching you. And um, behavioral questions also is, um, is definitely still there. Uh, for example, they could definitely ask you. Uh, there are people definitely asking you. Uh, tell me about a pro. Tell me about experiences that you're solving a problem uh, that you're very proud of. Tell me about a um, project that you are really um, proud of yourself. The the result. So this kind of questions also are still there. In terms of what kind of how many round there is. Um, it really depends on the company. On average, there is about three to four. Three, I would say three. Um, phone interview of the recruiters, that's for one. And then based on that, it will be um, uh, the, actual, um, the actual hiring manager and, and then actual the person who either you are working for in the future or working with in the future. Some other company, of course, have a few more rounds, but Basically, the structure is by these three people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you so much. And what are the five most common interview questions for data analyst position? Um, it, it, it really depends on the project. For example, for my uh, interview when I had before, um, there is prob there is um, inf there is uh, um, how to say. Um, a question about tell me let me tell about what kind of experiences I have so that's a very common one you're most you're definitely going to be asked about that and tell me about a project that you that you have done before that's either you solved a problem or you have some uh, you made a very big impact or you 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 really want to share with us so tell me about your project is also very um, common and also, in terms of the technical problem, um, depends on the company, but a lot of company test, uh, I think a lot of company right now test a SQL because that's very, um, that's very essential. So um, one way that one experience I had when I was looking for a, um, a opportunity um, before is uh, that manager was asking, I have this kind of information it's a very broad information. I have some customer information, some shipping information, some sales information. Now you design a um, database for me. You design an ER, ER diagram for me, and then you write a SQL quote to get me this and this kind of information. So this is a data analytical work um, about how um, you wanna, you wanna um, design this. This is how they can test you on SQL. Other than that, of course, they can, they can give you some um, and some just uh, questions they get from the lead code, and um, you uh, solve the problem based on based on whatever they are asking you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. That's very helpful. And Jessica, like, what are the best resources or the books to prepare uh, for data analyst interview, uh, uh, like for uh, data analyst uh, positions interview? Um, I would say definitely look online. The lead code one, um, that's a very good uh, resources for um, practice your coding skill. And um, other than that, I would say go um, do a lot of um, research and practice on, um, on Kaggle. Um, that, will give you, uh, that will give you a lot of um, experiences on how to work with the, the data, the major side of data. And I will also say that um, definitely practice um, definitely practice your um, uh, your Excel skill because even if you are um, even if you are learning all those kind of other tools at school, 
uh, in the job market, Excel is also is still a very uh, important skill that everyone is learning. 